Hey there, and welcome to the virtual table. Uh, I happen to be playing this game called Cold Waters, and that's been occupying quite a bit of my time lately instead of the board game. Uh, I know I recently did an Alter Quest campaign where I failed miserably. Uh, to be quite honest, this has been more fun for me than, than that. Uh, I did adjust the sound a bit, but um, I'm going to maybe do it a little bit more. And of course, every time I do that, it switches off the app. But uh, basically, Cold Waters. This game is several years old, and it's a nuclear submarine game. Uh, let me just start off by telling you, I'm not very good at it. Um, in fact, I usually die on the very first mission. <laughs> um, I, you know, obviously, I, I can get through the training no problems. Um, I never really tried single mission. Um, this game is all about, you know me, I'm all about the campaigns. That's what makes this... So, um, maybe this ages me a little bit, but when I was growing up, there was this game called Red Storm Rising. And Red Storm Rising was an amazing game. I believe it was made by Microprose. And it was a nuclear submarine game. I think you, you know, you could be the Sea Wolf or the Los Angeles class. And, um... The, your success as a submarine, there was like an overall World War III going on where there was a front line, you know, going through the middle of Germany. And the front line would shift, you know, in favor of you if you won at your mission or it would shift away from you if you lost. This is the closest thing I've ever seen to a Red Storm Rising game. Um, in fact, it's, it's amazingly close. Whoever did this had to be inspired by it. Had to be. Um... There's so many similarities, and uh, even though I stink at the game, it's awesome. So um, I'm going to try to do my best to explain to you what's going on, and um, uh, gosh darn it, I know it's going to stink, but let's do a training mission real quick, just so I can go through some stuff without the pressure of dying. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, oh, any of these work fine that one probably not so much this one they just give you a bunch of damage and you have to like learn how to repair your ship um let's do TMA here and I'll get into this other stuff later um con sonar new contact bearing zero 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 designated Sierra one Okay, so you hold down the right mouse button, you can move around. F1 brings you back to your ship. F2 is looking at any enemies. And then F3 would be uh, focusing on your sub. And uh, this seems to be quite loud. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And uh, let me turn it down a bit more. I don't know, this might be... A little better? Uh, nope. Please definitely give me feedback, because I use this software to record my games, but it's not always um, very good at it. And in fact, I think I probably turned it down too low now. There we go. Okay. So I don't know why... It's making noise, because there's clearly something nearby. Um, so it wants me to use tab to open the full screen and then zoom out and then you know there's a target so you can pull up and do some signature analysis and so this is like the radio frequency of the noise that you're hearing and you can line it up and you need to line up all the lines and there's a lot of ships to go through if you think you know it's a sub or a surface ship we can jump to the surface ships and um oh let's see if I can find this That one looks like a match. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit... Con Sonar Sierra 1 is classified as merchant. So it's classified as a merchant. And it's this ship right here. And... I'm going to make this video really short because I'm worried about the audio so I can listen to it. But basically, um, the whole idea here is, is you got a sub, you can do signature matching, you can choose different weapons to load into your torpedo tubes. Um, you have damage control for repairing your sub. 
and I can hit like Rig shift for ultra quiet. I can put it in ultra quiet mode, you know, things like that. You have a thermal layer, and right now I'm above the thermal layer. In fact, I'm uh, near periscope range. So then, oh, um, you can, you know, increase your speed. And what I really like about the games, because with games like this, there's different keys you have to remember. But if you just hover over anything, it tells you. So, for example, silent running, shift S, fantastic. And um, if I want to set the course, I just hit H, and I can. Come left to three, five, eight. Helm I. And he automatically adjusts the uh, the settings, or I can control it myself. I mean, there's all kinds of power and control here. So I'm going to go up to periscope depth, and then uh, this is what it looks like. This is uh, where we are. So I'm going to go ahead and at least go five knots, and I can put the periscope up. I have an ESM mast, and I also have a radar. Raise the radar mast. So I got three different masts, and of course, you know, when I put all of them up, what that does is this particular target, the console. Sometimes you don't see it like this. Like right now, I can physically see it, and. My solutioning is 95%. That means I'm at 95% confidence that I know what it is, and if I were to launch a torpedo, it's going to be exactly at this location. And so, let's do that. I mean, I'm going to just hold down the space, and then right-click. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. And then I'm going to tell the torpedo to go towards the surface. I'm telling it to zigzag left and right after it gets to this location. And right now it's in passive, which is a bit quieter, although, trust me, they detect it anyways. And then I can turn it on active. So that's going to use an active aggressive sonar. And uh, right now it's on a control line. And so, let me show you what that means. So we can follow the torpedo. And I can... I can activate it with a 4. And then I can actually control the direction that it goes. So I'm making it turn left. I'm making it turn right, or I can have it do the zigzag on its own, which is what this is. Oh, actually, this is turn left, that's turn right, and there's the zigzag. And then the little pings that you hear, that's actually the torpedo, because I have it on active sonar, and um, I'm just going to use the mouse wheel, and I know where he is, so I want the torpedo to go that way. So I'm turning it to head towards him, and there's a little cone that you see coming out of the torpedo and eventually that cone will turn red. That's because the torpedo will have, you know, seen its target. And um, currently it's still on the wire and if I want to start reloading my next torpedo I can just cut the wire. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to cut the wire. What's the shift for? That's what I thought I was doing. I guess I can't cut the wire. I mean I could start getting pretty crazy. And then I'm going to... this is a harpoon. So I can load a harpoon missile. Takes a while. And I'm going to hit F9 to speed up the game. Con, torpedo room, two, two, ready. Okay, the, the pinging is really loud in my ear. I hope it isn't for you. And like I said, I'm going to watch the video real quick. And and um, so you can hit tab to look at the map here. And so let's say I want to launch this. There's a minimum. See, that's a minimum range. Is Red is too close. But he's really far away. So I'm going to go ahead and have the tomahawk or the harpoon Shoot, two, two. go to there. Aye, sir. And there it is. And there she goes. We're going to hit F9 a little bit to speed it up. And then once it gets to the X or wherever I selected, see it, it then uses like a radar, finds its target, and it's just a merchant ship, so it doesn't stand a chance. Master one, last bearing, three, five, six. 
six. Contact breaking up. And so when you lose the contact, uh, it'll show you like a little sunk symbol. And here you can see the, the torpedo was still working in its way there. Um, I didn't realize we were 8,000 kilometers away, but anyways, the this game is, for whatever reason, being super loud on me. There we go. It's a little bit better. So that's a, a quick training mission, how it works. And uh, trust me, it doesn't work that well <laughs> in the campaign, but it does. it's supposed to work that well. And um, anyways, uh, if you go underneath the water, you can actually see it sink. It'll actually go all the way to the bottom of the ocean. It's really cool. Um, anyways, uh, really quick, I want to go uh, check my sound. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome. And I hope you enjoy... Uh, this playthrough. It's going to be very quick because I guarantee you I'm going to die on the first mission. But uh, we'll try a few times and see what we can do. And maybe some of you have played this before and you can give me some tips. I honestly um, uh, am amateur hour when it comes to this game.